to the joy of music. My name is Diane Bish and I would like to invite you to join us today as we bring you a program entitled Sights and Sounds of Prague in the Czech Republic. Today our music comes from St. Jacob's Church and the great St. Vitus Cathedral. Thank you for joining us. The St. Vitus Cathedral of Prague, a magnificent Gothic cathedral, is the spiritual symbol of the Czech state. The cathedral took nearly six centuries to build, begun in 1344 upon the site of a 10th century rotunda. The final phase of construction only ended during 1873 to 1929. The cathedral contains underground tombs of Czech kings and today continues to be a landmark of Prague. The cathedral houses one of the great organs of the Czech Republic. Castle is the largest medieval castle complex in Europe and is a must for all visitors to Prague. Destructive wars and fires along with differing political forces have combined to create a truly unique architectural complex. The Prague Castle Complex, seat of Czech kings throughout the ages, includes the Gothic St. Vitus Cathedral, the most recognized landmark in Prague, several palaces, a monastery, viewing towers, St. George's Basilica, and the enchanting Golden Lane. Prague Castle was established in the 9th century and has been built and rebuilt 
throughout ensuing years. Today, Prague Castle is the seat of the President of the Czech Republic and serves as the historical and political center of both city and state. The changing of the guard at the front gates takes place every hour. The famous Czech composer Anton Dvořák was born on September 8, 1841, near Prague, where he spent most of his life. His father was a butcher, innkeeper, and professional player of the zither. Dvořák studied music in Prague's only organ school at the end of the 1850s and gradually developed into an accomplished violinist and violist. 
The need to supplement his income by teaching left Dvorak with limited free time. And in 1871, he gave up playing in the orchestra in order to compose. Throughout his life, Dvorak was taken with Czech's folk music, and many of his compositions were built on these beautiful themes.
The Moldau is synonymous with the city of Prague and its many bridges that pass over this famous river. The Moldau is a river that begins in two small sources and flows through forests and meadows, passing castles and picturesque towns, finally arriving in Prague, where it is a source of great pride and beauty for this magnificent city.
My name is Diane Bish, and I would like to thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music, as we have brought you a program entitled Sights and Sounds of Prague, with music from the St. Vitus Cathedral and St. Jacob's Church in Prague. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music.
If you would like to purchase today's program or any program from our library of over 400, please visit our website at dianebishtv.com or call 1-800-933-4844. Thank you.